Okay, so in our last video, we talked about the relationship between the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord. And we looked at that in terms of the, the, the one chord is always where we're gonna anchor our index finger, and then we're going to go one string up to get to the four chord to anchor for the root, and then two frets up from that to get to the five. And really those are based on the major scale. If we think of a major scale, one is the key, two, three, four is the fourth note of the scale, and then five is the fifth note of the scale. One, two, three, four, five. But I just want to show you one other thing. We can also think backwards down the major scale, and, and look at this, it's really wonderful to know. Here's a B flat on the um, D string. So let's say we started up there for our root. The five chord is one string below that. So from one going down a string, we get to the five chord. And if we go down two frets from there, we get to the four chord. So another pattern I might use is this. One. Now I'll go to four. Back to one, to five, to one, five, back to one. So I'm sort of thinking in the opposite direction. One is here, five is here, and four is here. Before we were going from this B flat, one is here, four is here, and five is here. So it's good to know that you can incorporate that upper octave. Let me just show you a little bit of that and I'll sort of use both octaves on the one chord and you'll start to get a feel for what I call fretboard geography through that. It's really knowing where to go to get from a one to a four, where to go to get from a four to a five or from a four to a one. Just kind of knowing where you have to go on that fretboard. Let me just show you a little bit. We're gonna start up here. Here we go. One. Chromatic. Four. One. Five. One. Five. that a little bit and once you get really comfortable going down from the root to the lower five and the lower four then you can start mixing it up a little bit and going from the lower root up and from the higher root down and you'll really begin having a good feel for that relationship between the one the four and the five chord as you're playing uh, the bass in a jazz combo setting. 